you just look where they're from, where they're living. It's just, <laughs> it's not a good place. Javaris Daniels, wide receiver for the Toronto Argonauts. Brady Oliveira, running back, number 20 for the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Kenny Lawler, wide receiver, Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Tyson Philpot, number six, Montreal Alouettes. And today we're gonna call out some teams. Team with the worst jerseys. Ooh, that's, I like that one. That's a great question. Damn, who got the worst jersey? Worst one is Winnipeg. Those are, uh-uh. That is trash. I ain't gonna lie, Winnipeg jersey, ugly. I had to say it out loud, but man. Team with the worst jerseys, that's gonna be Edmonton. Edmonton, by far. You know, I'm not a big fan of the green and yellow, you know. Being a Calgary Dino too, we didn't like the Alberta Golden Bears, same color. The green and the yellow. Oh man, it's just nasty. I hope they get new jerseys this year. They have to. I don't know, I just think they could do a little bit more with that. We're gonna go with Edmonton, because Calgary, I like they all black jerseys they got. Edmonton, they got some jerseys that's not up to par. I guess it's unfair for them, because it's, it's hard to pick a good combination with the green and yellow. Yeah, it's color schemes, you can't really do much with it. Every time you bring out new jerseys, it's not, it's not much you really can do. It's unfortunate. I just don't like how they put that thing together. I feel like you can put them colors together so much better. I mean, everybody's jerseys, they, they decent, but ever since they got the little Elks jerseys, it's been, uh, it's been, uh, uh. Saskatchewan. It's too much green. It's a dark green. It's not really a happy green. It's kind of a sad, I'm bothered. I'm unhappy type of green. Saskatchewan Rough Riders, man. Much as I got a lot of boys over there on that team and it's a great rivalry, I gotta get some better jerseys, man. They outdated. You know, it's not even the color. I just don't, we just don't like them. I think, you know, I'm born and raised in Winnipeg and you're, from a very young age, you're taught to not like those guys in green. Go to the front office or whoever and tell them, yo, we need some more swag. Cause y'all got potential, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all just, you know, worst jerseys. How do you think AJ's gonna look this year with the blonde, the blonde hair coming out of the oh, green helmet? Right? I don't know how it's gonna look. I don't think it's gonna look that great. <laughs> <laughs> My boy's gonna be mad at me. I know this, this might be, this might be an unpopular opinion, but I like the orange. You know what I'm saying? I like the orange. They got, they went away from the orange. Like it's like, don't have a white jersey, it's a fog jersey, and like now it's just black, and I get it. I, it's, it's, it's cool, it's probably cute, but I think I like the orange. Team with the best jerseys. Where's the Montreal sticker? That's, this is what I need it for. I, I honestly think the the, Montre the red ones too, like oh, the ones you get one And wait till we see what we, get th we have yeah. this year. Oh yeah. I would say Montreal, but I don't have that option. I think the BC Lions have the second best jerseys in the league. I ain't gonna cap, the black on black with the little orange in there that BC comes be coming with, that's hot. That black and orange, predominantly black, with the orange uh, outline. BC, that smoke gray. I go with BC, cause I just came from Toronto, so we going with BC. I like the black and orange. That matte black and that matte gray is kind of fire. I can't lie. Other than the Edmonton Elks, all whites, is, they ain't nobody beating us with that, but yeah. I'm just a black jersey type of guy. Put a black ski mask on it, it's wraps. I mean, Winnipeg definitely, we, have, we got the best jerseys in the league, hands down. I can't pick my own. I'm going D guys right here. I say Ottawa because you guys haven't even seen the jerseys yet. I saw them today and they are fire. Team with the best jerseys. Of course, I'm gonna look better in green and white, but the double blue, I never thought I was gonna leave the double blue, but it looks good. I love the BC color, the all black, but I'm picking Toronto because baby blue, my favorite color and the baby blue jerseys, that, that's, that's probably gotta be the hardest jerseys out. I kind of like the powder blue, I'm not gonna lie. The powder blue, I didn't love it during preseason. The more that I saw, the more games that I watched. Powder blue is, is pretty fire. I've always liked like North Carolina, so don't hate me, Hamilton fans. Fan base that talks the most trash. Oh man, this I don't even gotta think twice about this. Oh, easy. You ain't got These are some of the most up, up, obnoxious and crazy fans that you have to hear while you're playing there. I don't get how they can get away with some of this trash talk they be saying when we walk out of that tunnel. They're gonna be in your ear all day, so you better get a W. Uh, you're gonna have to hit them <laughs> all, all day on the way home to the plane. Like, you just, <laughs> these people here, they're gonna get at you. So, what kind of stuff do they say? Oh, they, you, you can't say all oh, that on camera. <laughs> you know, you gotta. I figured. Yeah. I figured. Definitely going right. right here at the home, the homeboys. Yo, Hamilton fans, ruthless, obnoxious. You guys got a great fan base. Great fan base. I love the traditions and everything and the smack talk. How would you rate their trash talk? Is it pretty good or do they cross the line? Or? I mean, it's a little bit of both. I mean, they definitely <laughs> cross the line, but I guess it helps the team, so I can't say that's bad. Just insane. Saying some outrageous stuff to the Bomber fans at the games and my family, so Ticat fans, 
I don't like you. That's why I didn't sign with you guys this year. I don't want to say it's their fault. I mean, you just look where they're from, where they're living. It's just, <laughs> it's not a good place. So I understand that you're angry and you did not like me for five years. So I understand the trash talk and keep it coming. It's all love. Steel City. I just, I just think they don't care. You know, they just don't give a beep. You know, respect. <laughs> that's, that's respect. I don't know who it is. There's one guy that's always like face painted up and he stands at the, like right where the away teams come out and he just lets you have it. And the whole warm up too. So I'm going to give that to him, especially just that guy. Man, it's gotten so bad. They brought up my Wikipedia one time and I had just like dropped a ball, like a big ball. So I'm already like hurt and they're giving it to me. It was like, I was like, okay, who's saying it? I look over there, I see who's saying it. Okay, cool. And then it was like the last possession of the game. I, we get down there, we score a touchdown. I score a touchdown, take the ball all the way back to him, hand it to the guy, look at him like, take that with you, don't give it back. <laughs> <laughs> a fan base is the worst. Man, you can't really say nothing, but I gotta say Montreal, Montreal. Yeah, I don't be knowing what they be saying. So I be trying to ask my French teammates like, what they be saying for real. Team with the best trash talker. If he recently retired, can I still use him? Probably gonna be in the CFL Hall of Fame, but he's for sure in the Hall of Fame of trash talking as well, Simone Lawrence. Y'all want to be on TV, I'll put you on my Snapchat. I got like 10,000 viewers, everything would be good. Tight catch, this was my first team, and I, I know Simone get under a lot of people's skin. I gotta give him his props. Even though he just recently retired, Simone, Man, you got you got a, you got a knack for your words, man. It's one of those things like you walk in and you hear you you hear some money talking, yapping to probably like one of the old linemen or something, and you can't help but to laugh because of what he just said. Probably gonna go with Sask. I like the way they be talking trash, man. Yeah, actually, I'm not put it the wrong. I don't care how I put it. The magnitude of our games that we play every year, that rivalry over the. You know, years and years of this great league. They're always big games, especially the Labor Day Classic and Banjo Bowl. It's like generational. Like, <laughs> even when the next dude come up, it seemed like he'd been there for two, three years and he'd been talking trash. They kind of like breed their people to be like that. Trash talking, nothing disrespectful, just a lot of energy and um, drive from that, uh, that secondary. I gotta go with the Argos. Wenton McManus. But he be having fun with it. Yeah, I'm telling you. Oh, I spit that mother guy like dentures. Week 11, you think uh, special prepared for you? Oh, they will. <laughs> they will. They're going to be coming for my head. Team with the best trash talker. Oh, my God. I hate this guy. Number 26, Beverett, uh, Montreal. He really just, some about him. This is what we do. This is what we do. Beverett. Beverett. <laughs> hey, he be going at people. I'll be like, God dang. I usually don't talk about the guy. I'll be like, I'm not gonna waste that energy, but he was just in my head. Don't let him see this. Yeah, it's just a way to get under skin and get in their head a little bit, you know. <laughs> no, he don't talk trash to me, but I mean, I'm walking back to Huddles and I hear him, so. He's just like, I never miss a tackle on you all day. Then I think about it, I'm like, he did tackle me every time he got me. And that makes me so, <laughs> made me so mad. Cause I'm like, usually I can make a guy miss, but I think every time he touched me, I'm like, I was going down. And I was just, it was, I was thinking I was frustrated. I'm gonna put on his new team, Darius Pickett, you know. We've been on the same team, you know, so he's got some stuff for me, but Pick, Pick always talking out there, you know. Hold on to the rock, Phil Pot! Come on, Phil Pot! Come on, Phil Pot! Come on, Phil Pot! Run, Phil Pot! Run, Phil Pot! Run, Phil Pot! Sometimes it's good trash talk, sometimes it's bad, but. He's gonna let you hear it all the time, so. Tyson like a little brother to me, man. You know, it's always good competition, so I be I do be on him during the game. But especially when he gotta come block me. Team that you love playing against. Yeah, I be going crazy on these boys all the time, though. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I be going crazy on them boys. They call me the tie cat killer. All of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> this year is gonna be extra love playing against Toronto. Toronto. Being in Hamilton for the first time, I finally got to see the, the rivalry firsthand, and I get why. <laughs> and the fans are excited. They hate the Argos. I hate the Argos too. You're gonna have to see. Love playing against BC. Just seems like we always give them that work. Always get a 200 yard game against these guys. <laughs> One of those things, if you know, you know. I like going against Zach Caleros and Kenny Lloyd. Can only bring out the best in my game. I love playing against Edmonton. I, I get to score a lot, um, you know, a, certain, a, a good amount of touchdowns against them. So I mean, it's a good team to play against. Always they compete hard, make you compete harder. So I'm gonna go Edmonton. I love playing against Edmonton because I feel like they give us a lot of man coverage. You know, they trust trust in their DBs, which is always a receiver's favorite thing. One on one routes and 
go to work. Obviously, Hamilton, their fans don't like me and I don't like them either. So that's always a good time. Uh, we usually come out on top. And then the second team that I'm gonna say is Ottawa. I've had a lot of good games against them. Yeah, I don't think they like me too much on that side either. Team that you hate playing against. Team that I hate playing against? I hate playing against Calgary because, man, you gotta scrap your pads and it's gonna be a physical game. And then the altitude playing in there and like, can't breathe for real. Hamilton, BC, they already know what's going on. They know how I feel about them. Is there a particular reason you don't like playing against them? Hamilton, I don't like the city of Hamilton. I just think it's a little dusty here. BC, it's some dudes that talk a lot of cash over there. I guess it's a love-hate thing. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. I guess it's a love-hate thing. Easy choice. A lot of trash talking, but not a lot of pad hitting to back it up. I hate that we play Hamilton so many times so we gotta see the same people and do the same thing to them every single time. And I, it gets to a point where I kind of feel bad. I hate it playing against Winnipeg. I'm in the East now, so I don't gotta play them as much, but when I was in BC, I hated playing against them. I mean, it's good competition, but yeah, it's just that the past few years, them and um, BC, they've been going at it, so. We always struggle against uh, the Red Blacks. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but it's, it's never a cakewalk. Toronto Argos, they only play zone coverage. Last year was Ottawa. I don't know why. If y'all look at my stats, all my Ottawa games were <laughs> so bad, like so trash. They just had my number every game, and I think it got to a point where I was like, what is it about Ottawa this year that just like has my number? But what the crazy part is, I was talking to one of the Ottawa coaches during um, the Great Cup. He's like, I love your game, I love the way you play. I'm like, me? Are you sure? Like, <laughs> are you sure you know who you're talking to right now? Like, y'all were killing me when we were playing. Team with the worst visiting locker room. Ooh. I gotta go with this team. Oh my God, so easy. God. <laughs> so easy. Montreal. Montreal's locker room is it's not, it's not great. Montreal has been the worst in my experience. I've always get thrown in the in the corner. Seems like the running back's at the worst spot, but thrown in the corner where you're elbow to elbow. When you play there, it's like no space at all. Like you're just bumping elbows with people and like, it's real tight. So they have the worst visiting locker room. It's crazy. I'm a small person. So if I think something's small, it's small. Training room. It's rough, it's like 100 degrees. There's no room to get changed. It's like old and dingy and usually no hot water for the shower. Like, it's just bad, man. I think that's gonna go to what's the red blocks. Locker room's eh. A little bit too much red in there for me. It's all right, we always win there. Facts. It's like a high school locker room, like gates, like little gates and all that stuff. Like, yeah, it's, 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 it's bad business, man. Horrible. Bad. And it's just too small, not enough space. You know, the locker ain't even big enough. It's like, you and your teammates just, they stuff in your stuff, so it's like, nah. Montreal and Calgary, you guys gotta upgrade your stadium, locker room or something, because it's just not doing it, man. Not doing it. Y'all gotta do something about y'all visiting locker rooms, man. I know y'all don't care about us, but yo, renovations. Have y'all heard of them? This past year, we had a weather delay in Montreal, so we were in that locker room for a good minute, like, hanging out in there, and just no room, like, doesn't need to be nice, but like at least, you know, Saskatchewan, for example, I don't like them, but they have a massive visiting locker room. It's not nice by any means, it's just huge, right? So give us space to just hang out, roll out, stretch, get on the bike. Montreal and Calgary just don't got that. The team with the best visiting locker room. None of them, because I don't want to be there. Ironically enough, the team... <laughs> <laughs> oh the team with the best visiting locker room the Hamilton Tiger Cats. They make us feel at home. It's a big away locker room, and we really appreciate the, the space that they give us. Hamilton, it's nice spaced out, you know? They got a nice room, and they got uh, plug-ins for your phones and stuff like that. I appreciate that. And we love beating up on them at the same time, so it's, it's all good. All right, Sass, I love their stadium. I love the, uh, the atmosphere. Sass got the facilities. Visiting locker room, on. Oh. Point. Not that I remember all the locker rooms, but I know for sure that they, they, this guy, Saskatchewan Rough Riders, have a beautiful facility. I'm going with Winnipeg just because I believe I was only there once, maybe twice. It just seems like I don't have just hateful memories of it, so. BC, you know, with the indoor stadium and, you know, that whole atmosphere, I would have to give it to BC. They do it right out there. Team with the player you're most excited to play 
against. Yeah, who am I excited to play against? <laughs> Crazy to think about uh, going into year three and still haven't played against my brother yet, so I'm excited for this one. If he can get on the field. I'm ready just to play against the whole Montreal this team. That's a fact. Whole team. Coaches, everybody. Darnell Sankey, the guy's physical. He's a stud, probably the best at his position in the league. So, you know, me being the ultimate competitor, I want to, you know, go against the best and, and beat the best. The team I just came from, Edmonton Elks, got a lot of stories over there. Kind of one of those things, like, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. Calgary Stampeders home opener to 2024. The return of Bo Meevon Mitchell. You ain't ready. I already know you ain't ready. I want to pig. I'm... Kenny Lawyer, everything is complete about him. Fast, we run routes, and he make crazy catches. They got Jamal Peters. He was a good player when I played against him in Toronto. I'm gonna get to play against him a lot more you know, in Hamilton. So, man, it's gonna be a good battle, man. I know he's gonna come to play, I'm gonna come to play. He's my dog, one of my good friends. I uh, played against him when he was in Calgary. Jameer Thurman, he's on SAS now. I hate playing against him, but I also love playing against him because he makes me better. Toronto, I mean that whole defense. <laughs> Toronto, <laughs> definitely. Definitely decided to play against some of my boys, man. Much love. I know, what, 90% of them, brothers of mine. Um, win, he's gonna be fun. Hopefully I can knock that toothpick out of his mouth a few times. But, you know, help him up after, you know, he makes the tackle maybe once. I might let him get one in. It's always fun when you get to play against the offensive people, because in practice, you can't tackle them. You can't hit them for real. So they don't really know, you know, what it feel like to really go against you for real. Like, especially me, I play physical football. So it's like, some people be thinking it's sweet, because we ain't got no pads on now. Team that makes for the best road trip. Definitely not Sass. Definitely not Winnipeg. I've yet to do it, but I'm gonna say BC. Thinking I was almost gonna sign with him as well. Walking against the seawall, uh, walking downtown. The air just feels so fresh out there. You wake up in downtown in a proper hotel. Obviously, you can't really replicate the mountains, the ocean, and all that. So like, it, it's, BC is always super cool. And you're playing in the dome. Like you know what I'm saying? You're always playing in, in nice weather. I know a lot of guys don't like the. Feel I love it. I'm used to it. Extra two days before the game, so I'm gonna go BC. It's such a long flight too, so uh, kind of makes a cool trip for the boys. You can't not not find a food spot in BC, in Vancouver. They got food everywhere, every corner. You got the seafood. I'm a big fan of seafood. I'm a massive sushi fan, so the sushi is always so fresh out there compared to Winnipeg. The sushi that they have over there is second to none. So I'll, I'll give BC that. That's the only good thing that they have going for them. This place has been rocking for the last few years. I love playing at that atmosphere. Going to Winnipeg and getting a win in Winnipeg, it's always good, man. Keep doing your thing. I mean, we gotta beat y'all like two or three times this year though, so I'm, I'm sorry. Crazy fan base, so it get real loud in there. So sometimes you can't really hear your plays. You be like, huh, what? Gonna have to be Toronto. I feel like they got the best city. It's either Toronto or um, Vancouver. Like those are the two best cities to visit. So yeah, I'm gonna have to go with the six. I mean, I like going everywhere in the city for yeah. real. I'll be on the outskirts, Pickering, um, Scarborough. I'll be everywhere in Mississauga. Team with the player you love watching the most. Gonna have to be AJ Olette. The guy's a beast. Uh, I probably like watching him the most because we have very similar styles. Who's got the better hair, you or AJ Olette? <sighs> I'm gonna have to say AJ got the better hair. You know, he has uh, some wild hair though. Like, I thought he was in a rocker for like a season, but he's going with it still. And you know, that's like a staple now. That, that's his look and, he, and he's going with it. So AJ's flow is, uh, you, gotta, you gotta like it. I had the, the privilege to watch win. He's always diving on the ground on day threes when it's just supposed to be like a chill day. Diving, rolling. I love watching Wynn McManus, man. Everything about his game, man, just top tier. One of the best defensive players in the league. That Kenny and Sean, man, them boys, them boys can ball, man. They some straight up baller, so I love to see other guys in my position ball. Gino too, though, man, Gino too. I like Emelis, man, I like Sam. I, I think he's a young Canadian stud, he's a star. I like his game, he can go up and get the ball, he can run routes. You're a real one, I respect your game, man, you a dog. Nick Dembski, I gotta give my flowers, you know, the true Canadian receiver that I grew up, you know, watching. He might not like that, because Colin a little old, but he's such a baller, man, still doing it at such an elite level, and you know, that's someone that I watch tape and try and, and emulate. Javon Katoy, he's, I think he's a super solid player, I think he's super underrated. I love watching VA, love watching stand back play. When I first got to the league, Brian Burnham was, I used to love watching Brian Burnham. That's a, that's a super fit. And shout out to that boy Hatchet too, Cole. Gotta give it to the peg. 
My boy Willie J, you are a difference maker, man. You're a freak. Six, seven, defensive end and be another DB at the line of scrimmage. That's the cheat code, dude. Like, get away, retire, man. I'm gonna go Calgary. Uh, Mark and Michelle, love watching Mark and play, man. I've seen him come in as a rookie. I've seen him take a lot of steps to, you know, start him. I think that this year will be a big year for him. Team with the most underrated city. Everybody knows about Toronto. Everybody knows about Vancouver. Calgary has a nice city. They they got the rodeo going on. Uh, what else they got going on? I know Calgary. Like Calgary's a vibe. That place is sweet. I just feel like it's a little bit underrated. Smaller city, but still a lot going on. Good food as well. Good people. You got the mountains right right by you. Canmore, Banff, right there. I love Ottawa. I think Ottawa is awesome. I think the capital, it reminds me of Hogwarts. I think it's the coolest thing ever. Like, <laughs> I just think like all the architecture is super cool. I would like to go with the, the Red Blacks. It's something about Ottawa. It's, it's, a, it's a nice family place. I don't know how underrated Ottawa is, but in my book, it's underrated because I only visited once. And when I went, the city was Beautiful. I think Ottawa got the most underrated city. But Edmonton's still the best out of everything. Uh, everything I just said, just remember that Edmonton is really top with all of this. I actually like the city of Ottawa. I always have a good time while I'm there. It's probably why we never play well. <laughs> <laughs> Montreal. I went somewhere and got uh, some burgers from there. Man, them burgers were so good. And it was like late too, because it, uh, it was a night game when we played them. So I had went back around there probably like 12 a.m., 1 a.m. and got another burger. I like DJ Khaled, another one. <laughs>